get, the more I desire warmth in my life. To me, living a cozy life is simply enjoying the small joys of each day. A warm cup of coffee, morning sunlight, cuddles with my dog, warm laundry. While life is often scary, overwhelming, and stressful, it brings me comfort grounding myself with these little pockets of warmth. Pockets that are simple, but we often forget in the busyness of ordinary life. When I used to see the word cozy, I would immediately just think about things that I could add to my home or things that I could wear, but I really do think that living a cozy life is more so a mentality shift of really wanting to embrace all the warm and soft elements that do add joy to the everyday kind of mundane, ordinary parts of our lives. When I was making this list, I found it interesting that a lot of these things are actually things that I would enjoy as a child. And I think that a lot of just embracing all the small joys of life really does bring us back to that inner child. And I think that that's a really sweet notion. First is incorporating nature into your home. I live in Texas and it is very, very hot these days. And I find a lot of times I miss just being out in nature and spending time outside. And I find that having plants and flowers and things that are physically living in my home helps me enjoy nature when maybe it's too cold or too hot where you live to really spend a ton of time outside. It also is really great for your air quality, incorporating plants, and I find that it really does make my home just feel a lot more inviting, having living things everywhere. Learning to craft again. This is something I've been doing recently. I've never been the best at DIYing things. I'm usually the kind of person who would prefer to pay someone to do something than try to figure it out myself but there are little elements that I've been trying to incorporate into my life in terms of working with my hands. I have this pregnancy journal. I've been keeping up with this ever since I first found out I was pregnant and it's been so much fun just taking Polaroid photos and having keepsakes and it's simple. It's not anything complex. It's so much fun to work on this when I'm watching a show or just hanging out in the evening and it really helps me unwind and it's just one of those cozy little things that I enjoy doing. Drinking warm drinks. The thing Thing about drinking something that is warm or hot be it soup be it coffee is you can't drink it too quickly and I'm a huge fan of ice drinks again I live in a pretty hot climate and so it is nice enjoying my coffee when it's cold but every now and then just switching to a hot coffee really teaches you to slow down and savor that one cup a day or however much you're doing I find when I drink cold drinks I just drink them so quickly I find I'm just thinking more about getting the cap Caffeine as opposed to really savoring the drink that I have at hand. It's a simple thing, but it really does teach me to slow down, enjoy whatever is right in front of me instead of always thinking about the next thing. Welcoming people into your home. I find the best way to have a warm and inviting, a cozy home is to actually invite people inside of it. I find that I really appreciate my home more when we have memories here, there are things to remember. And I used to be really intimidated about hosting people and having people over. I felt like everything had to be perfect. I had to have the perfect setup that was cute and aesthetic. But the older I get, the more I realize just having a comfortable place to welcome people in is all you need. It doesn't have to be anything fancy, especially since moving into this house in particular. It has been such a joy just having people over all the time and having a guest room that people can stay at. And again, I think it can be kind of a muscle that you have to train having people over, especially if you are a bit more introverted like myself, but it is so worth it. Having morning and evening rituals to look forward to, this is no secret. I love my morning routine. I love my evening routine. For me, it's so nice having little things to look forward to when I go to bed, knowing that I'm gonna have a really nice cup of coffee in the morning, knowing while I'm working that we're gonna have a nice meal and I'm gonna get to hang out with my husband. I used to think it was so funny because Aiden is such a routine person. He likes doing kind of the same thing over and over again. But the longer that we're married, the more I've appreciated that, that we pretty much do the same thing every evening and I've learned to really enjoy it and look forward to it. And so find those little rituals that you love. I really think that it can make your life just feel a lot more cozy. This one might be a little controversial, but I've been trying to teach myself that my house doesn't need to be perfectly clean in order for me to relax. I know for a lot of people and myself included, cleaning is very therapeutic. It's nice bringing order 
order to things, especially after a busy work day. It can be something that you really just enjoy doing. But a lot of times I would see rest as a reward for some productive habit. And I found that this kind of mentality really was preventing me from truly resting at the end of the day. Sometimes it's worth it just to leave things as they are and realize that things will get done in their own timing, but you have the ability to rest. I know, especially as I prepare to become a mother, this is something that I'm especially going to need to learn because there are gonna be a lot more messes to pick up. I think that it can also give us a sense of control too. And it's nice just to be able to let your body rest without having to do anything productive. Of course, just disconnecting. I am on my phone so much more than I would like to admit. I don't even wanna look at my screen time, but lately there have been a lot of little projects that we've been working on, especially in our nursery, putting together our son's first room. It's been so much fun because whether we have been painting, doing the wallpaper, building furniture, you can't really be scrolling on your phone. Of course, I'll listen to a podcast or maybe watch a YouTube video, but I'm not actively thinking about connecting with other people and it is so nice and I've realized that that is why I like a lot of those little projects is because it just keeps me off my phone and it's very therapeutic to be able to do those things. Find ways that make it easier to disconnect. That could literally be leaving your phone with your significant other, leaving it at home and going for a walk. Of course, if it's safe to do so, just mentally checking out so you can focus on whatever is at hand. I've also been trying to bake more often. I love cooking, but for for some reason baking is not my favorite and I think it's because you really have to focus and be present and so it's been good for me and the other day it was so sweet I made some banana bread and Aiden woke up and was like it's so nice just waking up and having a smell of something nice in the kitchen that's just one of the best cozy feelings and so I've been trying to bake more if you have bananas that are going bad you know figure out a banana bread recipe with just things that you have at home. I always grew up with just little baked goods from my mom and that was something that I always appreciated. There would always be something there and it's just one of those little things that do you have to do? No, but it does add value to life, just having little things to look forward to. Incorporating a Sabbath day. We definitely try to do this on Sundays and especially as a Christian with my faith, I do think that it's nice just having a set day of rest to not be working on your phone, working on your laptop, and just doing little things that really do bring joy. Resting, spending time with people. We've never had a formal day set aside for this. It's kind of just been either a Saturday or a Sunday, but especially as we're growing our family, I really like the idea of having a set day of just resting and recharging and not always feeling like we have to be productive. And it seems I forgot one of my tips, which is to declutter your home regularly. I find I can really enjoy my space, I have less to physically clean, and I feel mentally more present when I have less stuff. I try to declutter once a quarter just to take inventory of what I have and ensure that it's all still bringing me joy. Putting on fresh sheets, this is simple, and it may seem like a kind of trivial thing, but there is nothing cozier than sliding into bed in the evening, especially if it's been a long day and having fresh sheets, especially if they're linen. There's something about linen bedding that is just the absolute best. Sometimes it can seem like a big task, but we try to do this about once a week usually, and that first night, there is nothing like it. It's just one of those small, simple things that I think is so nice to do for yourself. You're really not doing it for anyone else besides yourself. Take that time, wash your sheets often and savor that feeling. I've said this before, but minimizing overhead lighting, I have ours on right now for the sake of filming, but basically anytime throughout the day, I keep these lights off and we just have lamps everywhere. I'm so thankful in this home, we do have natural light too with so many different windows. And that is just so nice to have natural light coming in. There's something about having stark overhead lighting that for one, is is just kind of jarring. For some reason, it just puts me in a bad mood just sitting under it all day. And of course, if you're in an office, I know you can't control that, but within your home, having just warm lamps, it really does create that cozy ambiance, especially in the evenings and the mornings. Fill your home with things that make you happy. I think that there was a time, especially whenever we first got married and we're making our apartment, I thought that I kind of had to curate my home to fit a certain aesthetic. We always want to label things, but as I move and figure out my style within our home, I found that I just incorporate elements that I personally like. I like to 
use a lot of color. I like to use soft textures. I like to use lamps. I like to use plants because these are things that make me happy. Most of the artwork in our home is from Aiden's dad because he's an artist. And it's so nice just having things that bring joy whenever you're looking around in your home. And of course, if it brings you joy to have a very minimal, you know, more neutral home, then incorporate that. Do whatever makes you happy and what feels like home to you. Curate a playlist. There's something about getting into the car and you just know that you have a playlist of songs that build you up, that really do make you feel happy, that make you feel inspired. I recently, since I would say the start of this year, 2023, have a playlist that I've just been adding songs to. It's called Soft. I'll have it down below if you guys want to check it out. And anytime I'm listening to a song on Spotify that just makes me feel that way, I add it to the list. And it's so nice when I hop in the car, I just know immediately I have a playlist to go to because sometimes I want silence and I think that that can also be great. Other times I will just cycle between songs that don't make me feel the best, that make me feel very overstimulated and that is something that I just do not personally love. But I know it can take time to curate a playlist and so it's something I've been trying to do over time as opposed to just sitting down and doing it all at once. Slow down. I am so thankful for pregnancy for this reason because it has forced me to slow down. I just physically cannot move at the same pace that I used to. One of my favorite things is getting into bed and just feeling him kick, feeling him move, and it really does force me to get off my phone and pay attention to my body and just really slow down and focus on what is going on inside of me. I have always been a very just type A, go-getter, like to get things done personality, and for me it takes something physically changing in my life to force me to not always kind of feed into that. Especially over the last few years, slowing down and living more simply has been quite the challenge for me. I'm really thankful that I'm at a better place now, but when you're always running on that hamster wheel, you just don't notice what's going on. You don't notice what's happening in other people's lives around you. You don't notice what's happening to yourself. And so be present, slow down. And sometimes you have to find things that physically make you slow down and that can be really good for you. Minimizing excess stimuli. Obviously everything stimulates us, but for me, one of the biggest things that I cut out in my life were scented candles. Again, I love scents. I love having things baking. I do love the scent of different essential oils, but I noticed that I just didn't feel my best always burning these really, really fragrant candles that maybe were physically not good for my body, but also I did find were stimulating. I think there's something nice about having just a neutral clean environment i do still like to burn candles like the one behind me but most of them if not all of them now are pretty much unscented and i find that that has been a positive change in my life cuddling up with a comforter i'm a huge blanket fan even when it's 100 degrees outside you will catch me on the couch cuddled up with a blanket but Something that takes it to the next level is having a comforter, not for sleeping, not for the bed, but strictly for the couch. We have one that we keep in our linen closet and I'm so excited to bring it out more, especially as we get into fall and winter, especially as we have a newborn to snuggle. I just cannot wait to be all cuddled up in that. It's one of those things that may seem a little bit excessive, but I promise it is just such a sweet, small joy to have when you're watching a movie, when friends come over, it's the best. Using white noise is something that we like to do in the evenings just to help you know, promote better sleep. But for me, I find I actually end up turning it on probably about 30 minutes before we go to bed. It for some reason clears my mind and I find that I sleep better and I've been trying to read before bed lately and just having that soft noise in the background is so nice to be present while I'm reading. And it's just one of those little things that do we need? No, we don't, but it does make our room just feel a lot more cozy, feel a lot more warm, especially in the evening times. Learning to enjoy the in-between. I love this quote that I found on Instagram. It says, and don't worry if the making of the cake was better than the party itself. That's just the in-between getting the attention that it deserves. I think that this just goes back to really enjoying the small parts of life. And oftentimes we look forward to the big parties, the big gatherings, the traveling, the trips, and all those things are really nice. A lot of times 
I find that I actually enjoy preparing for those things more than the actual things themselves because it's nice whether you're planning your friend's birthday party or hosting an event, doing all those little things like crafting, working with your hands, they really are sweet. And so I've been trying to focus on actually enjoying those things and not letting myself rush through the in-between just to get to the big thing because it does make me more present and I find that I'm much more happy that way. And lastly, is just to define what joy means for you. This just goes back to comparison. A lot of times when we're scrolling on social media and seeing everyone around us, we kind of think that we have to enjoy things that other people like. Maybe that's big parties, maybe that's spending time with giant groups of people, but you realize that you actually like being at home and just being cuddled up and hanging out with one or two friends or maybe enjoying your own company that is totally okay. Going back to our homes too, it's okay if you have a style of decor that maybe isn't super aesthetic, but it brings you joy, then that is okay. I think as I've gotten older, I've gotten more confident in the person that God has created me to be and all the different things that do make me happy, bring me joy. And of course there are times when you have to push yourself and maybe you will figure out that you like something that you didn't think you did because you got out of your comfort zone. For most of my days, I really do hold fast to those things that I know bring me comfort because it's in my DNA. It's who God created me to be and that's okay to enjoy those things. Those are the things that make my life feel more cozy. I hope this gave you guys some ideas if you're trying to really just bring more warmth and embrace a more soft life. These are things that I personally love and hold fast to and I hope that you can as well. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye friends.